One of the frequently asked questions is, should I prime my canvas? Let's try to find out the answers in this video. All right, so before we try to find out if you should prime your canvas or not, let's try to understand what priming is. For this example, let's take a canvas cloth. And if you look closer, you're going to see a lot of pores or weaves on the painting surface. Now when you apply paint, it's going to sweep in through these pores or weaves. To avoid this, we're going to have to prime the canvas. Priming is the process of creating a barrier between the canvas and the paint. So what should you use to prime your canvas? Well, you can use acrylics or gesso. You can use a coat of acrylic white paint or a coat of gesso. The difference can be seen in the experiments that I'm about to show you. To simplify this, let's see how priming works on three different surfaces. A canvas cloth, an MDF board and an oil paper. First, let's look at the canvas cloth. I have separated this cloth into three sections where I applied gesso, acrylics and left the canvas without any primer. I mean, I've applied nothing there. Let's first apply some ultramarine blue on all the three sections and then followed by a bit of linseed oil and find out what happens. We can see the paint smudging or blotting in the section without any primer. But there is no smudging or blotting in the sections where there was gesso or acrylics applied. Now let's see how primer works on an MDF board. Again in this case I've separated this MDF board to three sections where I applied gesso, acrylics and left the board without primer. Let's first apply some alizarin crimson on the section where there is no primer, then a bit of linseed oil. Repeat the same thing for the other two sections as well. To know why I apply linseed oil in each of the sections, please check out my other video where I talk about oil mediums in detail. The link to that video will appear on the top right corner of this video. We can see this paint smudging botting in this section without any primer just like the canvas cloth. Finally, let's move on to an oil paper. I've separated this oil paper into three sections just like the other two where I've applied gesso, acrylics and left the paper without any primer. When it comes to oil paper, I don't see much of a difference if it's primed or not, so I usually don't prime my oil papers. So now I hope that you understood what happens if you don't prime your canvas properly. The oil colors may sink into the canvas and leave dull patches on the surface of your painting. Thank you for watching and if you'd like to see more of this content, keep supporting me and I'll see you again soon. Bye!